what's good guys welcome to Rico Reacts if you're new to the channel then welcome and if you're returning as always welcome back guys this is going to be my reaction to X-Men 97 season 1 episode 4 as always if you want to watch the full and any reactions you can do by clicking in the link in the description box below that will take you to the Patreon and that's where you can watch it but for now let's go an old friend of Charles Xavier I'd like to help you get back what you've lost you know, I'm not, I'm, I'm not feeling too good about this one. Someone coming out of the blue in a random bar telling you that they're gonna help you restore your powers seems a little bit shifty to me. Uh, guys, I have a question when it comes to morph. Uh, can he just morph into them or does he acquire their powers too? Because I know like with Mystique, when she like transforms into someone, she doesn't necessarily gain their powers, just like the look of what they look like. Uh, so with Morph, does he gain the powers as well or is it similar to like Mystique? If anyone could let me know, I uh, appreciate that. That'd be like huge. Okay, X-Men 97, let's get it. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoy the reaction. Ah, thanks Remy, you're sweet. But our new boss beat you to the pot. I'll take a cappuccino if you just take an order. Hmm. I am giving them. After breakfast, the X-Men will report to the danger room. We must be ready should Mr. Sinister resurface. Thanks. The youngest member deserves some jubilation on her 18th birthday. Jubilee will see far more birthdays should she learn to master her powers. Damn. Yo, someone's daddy didn't get him a pony for his sweet 16. Tell him, Wolf. Parents perished when I was a child. Oh, yeah. Ah. Uh. 18 today? Me. How do you want to celebrate the big 18? Let's go to the arcade. It'll be just like old times. What do we think? You would have the master of magnetism seen in a bar of childish. <laughs> <laughs> this is bogus. The only people who hate video games are bad at video games. Mine. Never even heard of a Motendo. Motendo? <laughs> Let's play. I'd rather me and Wayne find out I'm a mutant than be caught dead playing that. Damn, bro. Don't knock it before you tried it. Oh, what's it doing? <laughs> Bringing you in the fucking game. <laughs> that's crazy. That's crazy. You know what? I totally understand why they've done this, though. I feel, genuinely speaking, the last episode was just too, um, it's too heavy. Wait. So I feel like they're gonna just make it a little bit lighter this episode. A little bit fun, you know? Motendo type shit. Where'd the mansion go? How did we get downtown so fast? Boy! Yo, bro, stop looking at yourself in the mirror and turn up, bro. <laughs> Time to start using that solar energy. You know, it would be a lot easier if you just used your powers. My parents could see me on TV. Bro. Do you really think everyone is focused on you? To be fair with you, he is giving that vibe. Looking in the mirrors and stuff, like, it seems a little bit, like, just self-obsessed. It could be a trap. A phone booth trap? That'd be creative. This is some Matrix level shit. Ooh. Matrix effect. What's up, brother? <laughs> Whoa, hold up. Genosha? But, like, way back when, Genosha? Huh. <laughs> I didn't do that. Maybe it was her. Duh, we are totally in a video game. You're like totally in a video game? Love the totally. The fuck is this character? What in the name of all heaven is that? Mojo here. I go interdimensional alien TV producer who feeds off ratings. Looks like you've been dieting? You noticed! Got some nap, some tuck. <clears throat> Ratings are dead. Ah, thirsty for the next big thing. That's why I made the pivot to video games. You're not just in a video game. You're the star! Every level is based off your own memories. I wouldn't like that. Somebody all up in my memories. Picture this! The future! A Motendo, that's Mo for Mojo, in every home! And what if we refuse to play your game? What then? Then you die. I don't want to say something scary, like if you die in the game, you die in real life. This is the dream, Jubilee! Be young forever! Replay the golden hits! Game on! 
Dude is very creepy. Especially like the pins in his eyes. That oh my jeez. It's loading. Stage one. Or oh, round one. Fight. I wonder if there were any X-Men games that this is actually like. Like if they've referenced any of the actual games that people used to play. Burrow's got to use his powers, man, at some point. What the luck? Who is this? How did you get my health back? That wasn't me. This is what you get when you kill tech support for failing to kill the boss! Now shush! My favorite level. Should probably find a way out of here. What's the rush? These levels are taking me back. Otherwise, reality would smack you right in the face. Ah! Look like it smacked you first, homie. Roberto! Damn, game over, son. It's boss battle time, baby! I hope that don't really mean he's dead out there in the real world. Roberto's health is almost gone! He's dying! He's got a pattern of attack. Typical boss battle shenanigans. I just need to wait for it to cycle. to be over for the kid. An extra life! Uh, how did that get in there? Did I die? Almost. I found an extra life. Someone is definitely helping us. Pô, tô ferrado. Esse lugar é muito perigoso. Vou vazar daqui. Speak justifiably angry Portuguese, but <laughs> I know I messed up big time. Still, this young lady did take down old Magneto. Magnetism. Oh! Here we go. No need for thank you among friends. And by friends, I mean you. I hacked you out of the game server and into Mojo's broadcast servers to buy us some time. She's in league with Mojo. Zip it, Zip it Costa. <laughs> like I said, we go way back. Damn, I didn't think it would be Jubilee. Explain everything! You gotta test a game before launch. Endless trial loops with you two was too risky, so Mojo needed beta testers. I'm the only one left. I've played these levels inside and out. Before Mojo killed the beta, I figured out a glitch and hacked my way through here before Delisha. Very me! I know a part of you wants to hang here. Knowing how every stage ends. No surprises, no twists. But that's not living. Living doesn't get cheat codes or extra lives. Life's a total risk and it's on you. Take it. Oh, Magneto was right. A bit. But he's totally wrong about one thing. Video games rule. They do. What do you say we destroy Mojo's game and get you two lovebirds out of here? Final boss. Yeah, makes sense. Guys, I think he fell off his diet. Bigger they are, the harder they fall. The harder they pop. Pop. Damn. <laughs> wow, I can do that. Wow. Just you wait. I didn't know Jubilee could do that for real. Ah! Oh, Sunspot's active now, huh? I got him. Time to end you, nasty! Oh, this is like some kind of Naruto shuriken. Uh, a sent shuriken or some shit. Game over. And we're back. Roberto. You could've... Yeah. About risk. 
I had a feeling it was coming sooner or later, gang. Fireworks, huh? Uh, life, death, part one. Okay. Storm, dinner is ready. This is the dude that she. Okay. It's a leaner cut. It's room for the spices to do their magic. You're very kind. Well, a friend of Charles Xavier is a friend of mine. I owe that fellow a great deal. So he's not a bad guy. How does it work? A mutant who can invent anything he can conceive. Dormant in humans. See how bits fit? Like a Rubik's Cube on constant autopilot. Okay. May I ask? I was a soldier. There was a war. Say less. I miss soaring. Damn, look at that owl! Just in the background, just watching. It's hard to breathe. Your mutant gifts have allowed you to fix yourself. It wasn't anything to fix. It got a little creative. Let's go for a ride. I'm not building you a faster horse. What a rude little man. A <laughs> rude little man, you know. <laughs> Damn. That could have been it for both of them. That owl. I've seen him before circling. Perhaps he is like the winds. Moon effects, tides, and temperatures guiding the wind across our planet. Here, never shift, duck like this owl. You more than anyone know how fast the weather can change. Can change. Yes, Charles Xavier said that to Storm in one of the X Men movies. I believe it was, I can't remember which movie it was, but she, he definitely said that. Last power differential clicked in my head when we were out riding. Like I said, helps to get outside. You ready? Give it a try. Heed my command. They ain't heeding. I am Storm, mistress of the elements. And move the desert sand. Oh, what a shame. Please, winds. Oh no. Please. Torch. It can't be real. I know, Aurora. I know. Fuck. Oh, you're still working on the machine. Why is fixing me so important to you? Mm. He loves her. After the war, I didn't have the resources to build what I so easily saw in my mind. The Defense Department offered to help me, as long as I helped them build some devices. Devices that could be used to neutralize dangerous mutants. He's the cause of her powers being lost. Gave these? No, a scientist in Scotland did. Using my early designs, rough strokes at best. You, of all people, should know the perils of trusting those in Washington! If I told you the truth in Dallas, you wouldn't have let me help you. So you lied. It hasn't all been lies. This is not a lie. No. Don't you dare. I could live forever, and still my endless imagination would never conceive of a thing as perfect as you. Damn, bird boss. You are a goddess. Powers be damned. How do you not see that? I'll say it once, just once. Then you can go where you can stay, but I love you. Damn! Instead, you have fashioned a fool. Bro. Damn. I felt that through the screen, though. I felt that. <laughs> shit. Oh, shit. Aurora! How did I return here? What the fuck's going on? The owl! Get out of my home, you damn demon! Dude, the fuck! Is this death? No. You live disappointed, trapped here, haunted. 
I am so confused. A feast on misery shall not waste my meal. Oh, we gonna have to get into the next fucking episode. The hell? Uh, guys, give me a second, man. I'm just gonna fast forward in and I'm gonna get my after episode thoughts. Yo. Okay, so guys, um, okay. This episode in itself was just weird. I'll be real with you. Uh, it started off with Motendo. Um, like I said, from the episode three, I didn't expect this episode to be anything kind of serious, if I'm being honest with you. I feel like they needed to do something that was a little bit low tempo, a little cheesy, a little fun, a little bit gimmicky almost, just to kind of take out of that kind of feeling of, yo, like, Jean's a clone and a baby just got taken to the future and also infected with some kind of, like, new age virus that uh, Master of Evil or the most sinister person could do. Uh, so we needed to kind of low down a little bit. This episode did that, uh, took us on a little journey with Jubilee and um, Sunspot. Also, cool thing, didn't know Ju Jubilee could do those things, like, with the, like, kind of like the rocket shoes and, like, the wind turbines for like the fireworks so it's kind of nice to know that like her powers kind of can evolve over time and she gets better um learn a little bit about sunspot not too much she's just a little bit uh, self-centered uh it's not the best character at right now but i kind of want to get him to use his powers and really just like fully go into like sunspot mode you know i think that'd be sick to see but either way they defeated the boss the final boss they ended their journey jubilee kind of learned a life lesson cool then we got into this part. Some I can't remember the name of the title, but I think it was like Life and Death or something like that. I might be wrong, uh, forgive me. But it was Something and Something Part 1. So we know that Episode 5 is going to be Part 2. It's going to be a continuation from this. It just has to. Because no way they're going to leave it how they just left this episode. So anyways, we've got Forge. Developed something that basically helped the government take mutant powers away. Over time, they evolved their thing eventually stopped Storm from having her powers. Storm, though, is in a tricky situation right now because I don't know what the fuck that is that's after her. I know it said it feeds on misery, and obviously, how much more miserable could you be after having your powers stripped away from you? I mean, it must be imaginable, the kind of suffering she's going through. So this thing is finna eat good. I'm not gonna have, like, fucking starters, mains, and dessert type shit, you know? Um, so... We're going to see, hopefully, in the next episode, like, what happens, how she can kind of restore her powers. I feel like there's hope. I feel like if it wasn't, if she wasn't going to get her powers back, they wouldn't have introduced us to Forge, who, I didn't know this was his powers, but can basically just fix stuff or, like, invent stuff or he's, like, super, super cool um, in that kind of respect. So I feel like at some point she's going to get her powers back. It's just about how and, like, what journey she has to go through. But I want to say one scene in this that made me definitely feel really sad was a scene where and uh, Storm was calling out to the winds and she was just like, please, like, <laughs> like, that's so sad, man. It made me literally, it just made my heart, like, feel a bit achy. Um, but yeah, no, guys, again, this, this episode, first half wasn't great, but I didn't expect it to be great. I expected it to be how it was. The ending of it, they picked it up, they piqued my interest, and I cannot wait for the next episode. So, uh, guys, I genuinely hope you enjoyed my reaction to this episode. Uh, if I'm missing out anything, or there are things that I'm not, like, catching on to, please let me know, because I'd love to just be, like, teed up a little bit. Um, I like when you guys give me more information that helps me understand the story better. But um, I hope you're having a great day or evening, depending on when you're watching this. And until the next reaction, take care. And as always, guys, if you want to watch the full and edited reactions, you can do by clicking in the link in the description box below. That will take you to the Patreon and that's where you can watch them. But until the next reaction, guys, take care.